different track here. Over the last several months, it's become quite apparent that many taxpayers are of the opinion that the library should be put to a vote to authorize the use of tax receipts to pay off any debt service that would be created for obtaining a loan to build a new library. This would also include any other finance and loans of means that will directly impact the tax rate of Gates County taxpayers from the current or past tax receipts. Two months ago, I asked the county manager to get the user records database from the Avonmore Regional Library. He contacted Gary Hull, the director of the library, who then started to correspond with me directly. So Toby did his job, he got him going, and I started talking to him. The director has yet to provide the database citing several different things. One of those was the confidentiality of all record transactions as authorized by North Carolina General Statutes. However, we got over that hurdle. I told him I didn't want anybody's name, only the barcode that you see at the bottom of this, this thing here. If you, and if you have your library cards or have one of these, you see there's nothing but numbers on this. There is a library card, but I hope you got it in your wallet and safely secured that may have your signature or may not. But he told me, he said that he would have to have a program to get the records out of the database. Well, I had a question there. As I know a little bit about it, relational databases. I worked with them quite extensively over my years in Florida the International Paper and continue to do so today. Why would you go to, to the expense investing into a nice database if you didn't know how to get the tools or get the resources out of it. Why would you do that? Whenever you go invest in something you didn't know how to use or, or do that, I don't think so. I wouldn't do that. If I got a tool, I'll learn how to use it. Now this database will provide many answers current uh, concerning the transactions that occur. The number of people that actually created the transaction, provide true, accurate data to form the basis for an investment is not the best course of action to spend taxpayers' money. All of the things that we're doing today is about borrowing money and spending your money. Now, I'm all in favor of getting a library, but, and I'm not in favor of turning to one of the goddamn or the courthouse time, especially because history is important, extremely important. And if you look at this seal that we got, it's a very significant thing. Um, so my thing would be to go out there and try to find some grants to build a new library, grant money now, even though it still costs you money because it comes from the federal government, but at least we could build something there and not directly impact your property taxes or your taxpayer rate. Therefore, I bring to the floor a motion to allow the citizens of Gates County to vote on the issue of using taxpayer money to build a new library as authorized by North Carolina General Statute GS 153A-149 that reads as follows. GS 153A-149. Pursuant to Article 5, Section 225 of the Constitution of North Carolina, the General Assembly confers upon each county in this state the power to levy within the limitations set out in this section taxes on property having situs within the county under the rules and according to the procedures to prescribe in the Machinery Act, Chapter 105, Subchapter 11. Each county may levy property taxes without restrictions as to the rate or amount for the following purposes. Now, I'm not going to read all of these, but several of them. Debt service. To pay the principal of and interest on all general obligation bonds and notes of the county. Each county may levy property taxes for one or more of the purposes listed on this subsection up to a combined rate of $1.50 on the $100 appraisal value of property subject to that taxation. Authorized purposes subject to the rate limitations are, and then on number 19, libraries, to establish and maintain public libraries. And then, then it states, in conclusion, with an approved vote of the people, any county, any county may levy property taxes for any purpose for which the county is authorized by law to appropriate money. 
Any property tax levy approved by a vote of the people shall not be counted for purposes of the rate limitation imposed in subsection C. The county commissioners may call a referendum on approval of a property tax levy. The referendum may be held at the same time as any other referendum or election, but may not be otherwise held within the period of time beginning 30 days before and ending 10 days after any other referendum or election to be held in the county already validly called or scheduled by law at the time the tax referendum is called. The referendum shall be conducted by the county board of elections. The clerk to the board of commissioners shall publish a notice of the referendum at least twice. The first publication shall not shall be not less than 14 days and the second publication not less than seven days before the last day on which voters may register for the referendum. The notice shall state the date of the referendum, the purpose for which it is being held, and the statement as to the last day for registration for the referendum under the election laws then in effect. The proposition submitted to the voters shall be substantially in one of the following forms. Shall Gates County be authorized to level annually a property tax rate, property tax at a rate not in excess of blank cents on the $100 uh, valuation of property subject to taxation for the purposes of building a new library or establishing or establishing a new library. The second option, shall Gates County be authorized to levy annually a property tax at a rate not in excess of that which will produce X dollars for the purposes of a library. Number three, Shall Gates County be authorized to levy annually a property tax without restriction as to the rate or amount for the purposes of a new library? And then it says, in conclusion, if a majority of those participating in the referendum approve the proposition, the Board of Commissioners may proceed to levy annually a property tax within the limitations described in the proposition. <coughs> and then it talks about the Board of Elections taking canvas of this. So this is a general statute right here, and there was some people that were misled from the standpoint of whether you can have one or not. And I have told this email from Dr. Joyce, Robert Joyce Institute of Government. It says, however, there is, however, a statute that could be used indirectly to accomplish more or less the same thing. And that statute is GS 153A, 149B. So he, he's acknowledging here that we can do this. So all of the things that we're doing today to build this is affecting you, the taxpayer. It's going to cost you out of your taxpayer money. If we go and we're talking back in the minutes of, I've got um, minutes of, um, <clears throat> I think it was in May, minutes. In the minutes of May, it uh, gave you some idea of how the money was coming, but in every case, it impacted the taxpayer money. Then in the July um, minutes, Commissioner <coughs> Dernan stated, and I, I got a Meyer County for doing this. Commissioner Jernigan stated he is the one who inst instigated the discussion of a new library with the hopes of stimulus money to build, not alone. So it's my opinion, and I've been talking to a lot of people, and I'm not opposed to a library. I, we need one. We also need to keep that full tax up there, too. So we can go get some grant money to build a new one and take this money and ask you, the taxpayer, to put in the back and, and preserve it. It's a better course of action. So I'm asking the board, I'm making a motion on the floor, that we allow the voters of Yates County to determine the direction that we go with the building of a new courthouse. Anything that impacts their tax rate of debt service. Okay, we made a motion for that. Do we have a second? I'll second. So a motion and a second to call for what to build a library with access to that. If we're going to go borrow money, if we do not get a grant, yes. Right. We'll take this vote on a hand raised vote. All in favor of the motion.